Sometimes while working with Terraform, we want to create resources conditionally. Maybe we want a resource in production and same resource we don't want in low environments like dev and test. In this lecture, let's see how to create a resource based on a condition. This is our uh, project. Uh, we have VPC in this project. I want this VPC only in production environment and I don't want them in other environments. How we can create this VPC using conditions? First, we have to define a variable. Let's put default value for now is prod. I want this only in production, not in other environments. In other lectures, we have seen count. Count is usually used for looping. Uh, if you want multiple VPCs, you can say two, three, or four. It's going to create multiple resources for you. And when count is zero, meaning it's not going to create this resource. What we have to do now in production, we need to keep it one. And if it is not production, we need to keep this one as zero. When it is zero, this resource is not created. If it is not zero, if it's a positive integer, it's going to create this resource. We have to use interpolations for this where dot env. Let's compare that with prod. If yes, written one. If no, written zero. In this case, this value is prod and yes, it is equal to this value. If it is yes, it returns one. And if it is no, it returns zero. This is how we use conditions in Terraform. Now let's check its behavior by executing plan command. Terraform plan. If we check plan report, it's adding a VPC because the variable pointing to production. If I change the variable value to something else, it should not create this resource. Let's check that. Let's keep this one as dev and let's run plan again. In this case, it's going to return zero. If count is zero, it won't create this resource. Okay, there's a temporary lock. Let's wait for a few seconds. This lock should disappear automatically. It says no changes required because the environment is at dev so it should not create that vpc so this is how we can use conditions in terraform projects